How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is time for another comic book haul. <clears throat> this time I have uh, the stuff that I picked up from the Motor City Comic Con over the past weekend, the spring 2024 edition. Um, I took my son over there and we went on a Friday when it opened um, at noon and we walked around for a little bit and I picked up a few things, um, mainly out of the dollar bins, but um, I did meet um, an artist, Dan Parent. He had a, he's a featured guest there at the convention. So uh, he, had a, he had like three short boxes of stuff that he would, if you bought them, he'd sign them. They were all $20 a piece. So I picked up Die Kitty Die number two, the variant that he did with the, um, like Casper, the Friendly Ghost, and Wendy, the Good Witch homage. Um, picked that one up for 20 bucks. And I also got Die Kitty Die Hollywood or Bust, issue number four, the variant he did, like a Barbarella tribute. So um, both of those were $20. I wish I would have bought a lot more. He had a lot of uh, cool books that I would have bought from him, but I didn't want to spend all my money in one place. So um, got those from him. Then I hit up a dollar table and um, picked up a couple of books. I found the Gwenpool Holiday Special variant with Kate Bishop on the cover um, for a dollar. Batman 66 meets Steed and Mrs. Peel for a dollar. This cool Steve Rude um, Marvel variant um, with classic looking 60s uh, Avengers and Hulk. Um, picked up the Sumerian Queen of the Black Coast. I've been trying to pick up any Action Comics number one homage covers I see. So I picked that one up for a dollar. This one was in the dollar bin. Um, this is a kind of a hard one to find. Back to the Future number one variant um, with the, obviously the dates from the car. And then this one was in the dollar, it was in his dollar bin. I don't know why, but I grabbed it. All new Wolver Wolverine number one when X-23 becomes the all new Wolverine. So pick those up out of the dollar uh, bins there. Then I have, um, this guy had a bunch of tables. He runs out of, he runs a flea market out of a flea market. I've seen him quite a few times before, but he had $2 books, $8 books, $10 books, and then prices mark books. And he had wall books, of course. So I started looking through his stuff and I picked up out of the $2 box, Cartoon Network starring number two, Johnny Bravo. That's the first appearance of Johnny Bravo in comics. Classic cartoon, loved it. Um, then in the $8 boxes, I picked up Flash 92. I've never had this one before. I've always kind of wanted it. The first uh, appearance of Impulse. This one was in the $8 uh, box too. Batman 423, third printing. Um, it's not, it's it's a little rough, but it's complete. It's a, the cover's attached and everything, but I figured for $8, everybody loves that, that cover. Um, I just couldn't pay us up for $8. Uh, also in the $8 box was Tomb Raider 40. Nine, nice uh, Adam Hughes cover there. Never had that one. And then this one is in there too. Um, the Amazing Heroes 1984 preview. This is a, a book that has one of the earliest appearances of the black costume Spider-Man in it. And then also now that the Rocketeer is on here, this should be considered a, 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 a Dave Stevens cover, I would think. But anyway... Uh, eight dollars. I couldn't pass it up. I've been looking for it forever. I I've almost bought it several times on eBay, and I just couldn't do it for the price. But for eight dollars, I said sure I can. So that's that. And then the rest of this stuff is pretty much um, dollar bin stuff that I picked up. Although I do have one more like mail order thing. I picked up these off of eBay. I I got. Um, the Scarlet Witch is Quicksilver Variant Edition, number one, uh, nice Art Adams Scarlet Witch cover with the uh, anniversary border. Um, I picked this one up. What did I get this one for? It was $20. If you go on the um, eBay, you can find it. That's the normal price for it. Um, I've been looking for this one forever. I've almost bought it a million times. Actually, Dan Parent had this at his booth, but I got it on eBay for $10. Um, that's a variant to, obviously, Wonder Woman 77 meets the Bionic Woman. And then the last one here is a one in a hundred, Bruce Tim, Superman Unchained. So again, I bought, I've been looking for this and I've almost bought it quite a few times, but then on this website, I forget which what company this is. I think it, I want to say Unknown Comics or Ultimate Comics, one of the two. But anyway, they had this one too. I paid $15 for this. And I think that's way undervalued for a one in a hundred. And uh, classic Bruce Tim or 
classic Superman image by Bruce Tim. How could I, I, I couldn't pass it up. So um, these are my eBay purchases. And then now back to the Motor City Comic Con. Uh, the rest of this stuff is all dollar bins. So we have um, Dark Horse, Planet of the Apes, number one. This is based on the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes movie. So I was able to pick the, up the whole set. Um, number one, number two... It's not that great, greatest a movie, but I'm a big Planet of the Apes fan. So um, here's number three, number four. Haven't read this yet. Number five and number six. Now I didn't even know they did like a, not a side series. I did pick up the comic book adaptation of the Tim Burton movie, but I've never got this um, mini six issue mini series. Then I picked up um, a couple of, um, well, I actually got the whole series of this, too. I got Hit Me. I got a couple of uh, copies of number one with some nice Jeff DeCala covers here. We got two number ones, a number two, a number three. number four and number five so got the whole series there of that pretty happy about that one um, I also got another complete series here out of the dollar bins of the memory collectors these covers are just awesome here's number one number two never read this series either I'm looking forward to reading this and number three that series. Then I picked up the complete series of the Dust Wars. Um, another really nice looking cover set here. We got number one, number two. I saw, I, I forget where I saw the uh, picture of one of these covers and then I started going on the hunt for them and then like I said I finally came across it at um, Motor City Comic Con. So I got in Dust Wars number three. Um, then I had just posted on my Instagram um, one of the, or two of these I got in an auction lot, but I found another one of them for a dollar. This one's in a lot nicer shape. Uh, Comic Zone, number one, it's a free giveaway that CBS did for their Saturday morning lineup with the Turtles, Wildcats, and Skeleton Warriors. And I don't know if this is the first time uh, Jim Lee ever drew a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or not, but it's a cool piece. Uh, and then I saw so, I, I, the Dearborn toy and comic show somebody grabbed one of these out of the box and i was kind of bummed but then i found one at motor city comic con this is a cool marilyn monroe um new thing 3.0 cover or cover i think that's issue number three but very nice looking cover there uh i've been looking for this one for a long time too uh player versus player number one it's a frank cho cover more cartoony almost like his liberty meadows kind of stuff there um, then I picked up a Spider-Woman number one because I'm always buying first issues, you know, if they're a dollar. Uh, Savage Dragon versus Megaton Man number one for a dollar. Uh, Return to Jurassic Park number two. I couldn't remember if I had this or not. I probably do, but I picked it up for a dollar. Um, I know I didn't have this one. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number six from Hamilton Comics. Um, I always get comic book adaptations, so this is, um... The Marvel version of Pocahontas from Disney. Pick that one up for a dollar. Um, speaking of Disney, I got the Disney Primer. Uh, no, I've got, a, I think I got two or two of these. Just a sample thing from Marvel of Disney Comics. Uh, Thundercats source book number one, just because of the Art Adams cover. Uh, again, first issue, Flintstones, DC. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe, number 25. Just thought that was a cool looking cover there. Uh, Ghostbusters Crossing Over, number two. Cover B for a buck. Big Ghostbusters fan too. This one was in there, but I picked it up just because of the Frank Cho cover. Baltimore Comic Con um, program uh, featuring the Teen Titans. That was a buck. Uh, and then I also like, if you've watched this channel at all, um, I like giveaway comics, and this one is from Chick-fil-A. It is Decibel. It's a, I guess I came in a kid's meals um, <clears throat> about a superhero cow. 
Then Spider-Man number one. Don't know, can't remember what volume this is. Probably five, something like that. And then here's another Amazing Spider-Man number one. And then Alpha Flight 17. This was in there. This is a early Big Hero 6 for a buck. Uh, Alpha Flight number 20, which is the last issue of that volume there for a dollar. Um, I put these out. These were on my Instagram too, but I found these for a buck. Girl Crazy number one. Um, Dave Stevens cover. Or ink. Dave Stevens inks on that cover. Girl Crazy number two. And Girl Crazy number three with a nice uh, art coop cover there. Um, Dirty Pear Sim Hell. I got the whole series of this. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. All that series there. Then I picked up the Monkey Man and O'Brien miniseries from Dark Horse Legends uh, imprint. More Art Adams. I got number one, number two, and number three. I can't never, I can never not buy those for a dollar. And then the last thing I picked up was I was able to get a whole run of the uh, Eric Larson Nova the Human Rocket um, series. So I got number one, number two. A lot of people didn't care for this, but I mean, I liked it. It was Richard Rider. It was classic Nova costume. Um, here's number three. Four. Five. Got to have Spider-Man there. Spider-Man in there if Eric Larson's is drawing it. Um, number six, and then of course, if Eric Larson is drawing it and Spider Man was in it, you gotta have Venom. So, number seven, that's the last issue of the series, and it's also kind of a harder book to come by, too. I guess the print run was kind of low on those, nobody was really buying these when it came out, but um, um, so yeah, so I picked those up from Motor City Comic Con over the weekend, and um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Let me put this back up here while I'm talking. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I get, I've had a lot of subscribers lately, so I'm really happy. I'm getting closer and closer to the thousand, uh, subscriber mark. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, I am on Instagram. Here's my handle, easy as it can be with the underscores there. Check me out there. Uh, you get a chance and maybe, uh, click on and, uh, follow me on, on Instagram. Um, but other than that, I think I will stop with these books right here. Um, I try to put videos out uh, pretty much weekly, so hit the notification bell. They should tell you when I do put up a new one. Um, and I, I just like to, again, thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel and who has uh, taken the time to comment on my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Um, basically, you know, this channel, like I always say, it's just a uh, for love of comics, it's not a speculator channel. It's not what's gonna, what's hot, what's not. Um, just that I've been collecting forever, and I like showing off stuff that I pick up uh, inexpensively, so that you guys can see that it is possible to find some pretty good deals and decent comics out there for uh, little money, and um, you don't really have to break the bank. But again, you know, and, and I, like I say, um, hopefully you guys have luck out there hunting for comics. Um, and I will just, I guess I'll catch y'all next time. So take it easy. Bye.